What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making three easy gin cocktails. And when you look at the ingredients, they really look similar. But when you try them, they're pretty different. So that's just an easy way to show you that with just a few ingredients, you can make a long list of cocktails. So if you guys are ready, we're gonna start with one of the simplest of them all we're gonna make, a gin ricky. To make this cocktail, all we're gonna need is gin, lime juice, and soda water. First, we're gonna fill a Collins glass with ice. Then we're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of gin, half an ounce or 15 ml of lime juice, and we're gonna top it up with about three ounces of soda water. We're gonna use the half lime as a garnish, and here we go. This is how we make a gin ricky. This cocktail was created in the 1920s by Colonel Joe Ricky in Washington, DC. It was first made with whiskey, but it soon became a staple to use gin instead. The fact that there's no sugar makes it very fresh, but also pretty much on the tart side. So if like me you prefer a sweet and sour balance, you can easily add a quarter of an ounce or 7.5 ml up to half an ounce or 15 ml of simple syrup and shake it before adding the soda water. But if you want to go down that road, maybe you should try the next one, the East Side Refresher. To make this one, you're gonna start by modeling two long slices of cucumber in a cocktail shaker. Then you're gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of gin, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of freshly squeezed lime juice, half an ounce of simple syrup, and eight to 10 mint leaves. You're gonna fill your shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Then you're gonna fine strain the cocktail in a Collins glass filled up with ice and you're gonna top it up once again with about two ounces of soda water. And this is how we make the East Side Refresher. This one is still extremely fresh, but the tartness is perfectly balanced by the sweetness from the syrup. Then the addition of the cucumber and the mint makes it slightly more complex while still being very light. So now, if you guys are ready, we're gonna end this video by another classic, simple, delicious gin cocktail. We're gonna make the Bennett. This one, like the Ricky, was first created without sugar, but now, about 100 years later, it is more common to use simple syrup for a better balance. I've tried them both and believe me, it is better that way. So if you guys have been following my channel for a little while now and like the cocktails that I make, believe me, make it with simple syrup. So for the ingredients, we're gonna need gin, lime, simple syrup, and Angostura bitters. To make the cocktail, you're simply gonna pour two ounces or 60 ml of gin in a cocktail shaker, to that, you're gonna add one full ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice, three quarters of an ounce or 22.5 ml of simple syrup, and two healthy dashes of Angostura bitters. You're gonna fill your shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. You're gonna fine strain the cocktail in a cocktail coupe, express a lime zest over the drink, and garnish the drink with the zest. And this is it. This is how we make a modern Bennett cocktail. Cheers. Mm. This one is basically an aromatic gin gimlet, super refreshing and counterbalanced by the heat from the gin. Speaking of which, the botanicals goes really well with the spices in the Angostura. Overall, a completely different cocktail. So I think that proves that even though we're using the same spirit and the same citrus, with minor tweaks, we can make a major difference. So guys, that's it for me today. I hope you liked this video. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Thank you.